So Mount Bovary is now coming to the end of its, I suppose, second week of performance. We've got one more week here in Liverpool. And uh, last time I spoke to you, we were in rehearsals. Um, it's gone down a treat with our audiences. And I suppose the first thing to say is we're delighted with the audience response. Uh, even Flaubert experts seem to have uh, warmed to the idea that you can take a great tragic novel and turn it into a comedy. When we first opened it, uh, the first preview, I think, ran at almost 40 minutes longer than it's now running. And I spent a lot of the time uh, during that, those first previews, cutting it back. We, we'd had such fun in rehearsals, and it, for those of you that have seen it, and those of you still have seen it, it's a really complicated show with upstairs, downstairs, doors flying open, quick changes, and we'd never really been able to run it in the rehearsal room, and it wasn't until we got into the theatre that we realised how long it was going to be. And even today, uh, following doing this video, actually, I'm going into to cut it a bit more. Uh, which isn't to say that the audience that have seen it so far have complained about the length or in any way uh, not enjoyed themselves, I don't think. But you just, with a new play, and one as complex as this, you begin always, you're working on it, trying to make it more and more perfect and to tell the story as efficiently and, and beautifully as you can. Um, we go to Southampton uh, the week after next. That's the first of our tour dates. And it'll be really interesting to see it there because... Um, We've got four tour dates, and only the Everyman has audience on three sides. So the next three venues, uh, Southampton, Bristol Old Vic, and Northampton, have a more traditional stage with uh, a proscenium arch and the audience all looking at it from one direction. So I'm going to have to re-block it, get the actors, rethink some of the staging, uh, because we've been very much staging it for our audiences and being playing it, making sure everybody can see it from three sides. Um, so there will be quite a lot to do when we get to Southampton. Um, there, some things I think will work better in Southampton. Um, we've got some surprises up in our grid uh, that fly in. And at the Everyman, because the audience sits sort of under the grid, they're very well aware of what might be coming down on them. I, I don't want to spoil it for any of you. Uh, even before the show starts, they can see some rather alarming objects up in the uh, lighting grid. Whereas in the proscenium houses that we'll be moving to, you don't see those because they're hidden behind the proscenium arch, so those really will come, hopefully, as big surprises. 